Hello everybody, welcome back to Stella Analytics. This is Stella and today, as promised, I will be showing you how to connect to Azure SQL database using your Power BI desktop. So let us go right in. Right, so first things first, make sure that you have your Azure resource provisioned. And um, I already have mine provisioned with my SQL, um, my SQL pool. So this is here, this is my resource group. I have my SQL pool, I have my data lake, I have my Synapse workspace all ready to go. Right, and I also have my Power BI desktop ready to go. So first things first, get data. And the get data will be so we can connect to the Azure portal. Azure SQL database connect. Now we need a server name, so we'll come back to Azure. Click on our Synapse workspace because the Synapse, the overview tab of the Synapse workspace hosts all the endpoint links for our resources. So, and um, what we need is the one for the dedicated SQL pool endpoint. So I'll just copy this, copy to clipboard. And there, there we go. Then I need the database. This is optional, but uh, we don't want any unnecessary issues. So, <laughs> Uh, come open the uh, Synapse Studio so then we can access the SQL um, database. Yes, I'm logged in with this. Thank you for letting me know for asking me. Right, so um, come to the Manage tab where you can see the resources that you're currently managing. And as you can see, my database is paused. It's paused because when you leave your database running, you incur um, cost. So I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to start my SQL pool because if I don't start it, if I try to connect, uh, it's, it's, it's going to tell me that it can connect. And for this exercise, I will be connecting to um, the import mode. So click on OK. It's going to ask for my credentials. So it's going to it's asking for my Windows credentials. I cannot use my Windows credentials because uh, I use a different email for my Power BI desktop and a different email for my Windows login. And my Windows login, um, the, the email for my Windows login is also the login for my Azure portal. And I can actually use the my Power BI to access the Azure portal. And that's because I created or I assigned a global administrator role to my um, Power BI um, login. So I can use this. Um, let me try my Microsoft account. I'm not signed in. Yeah, let me, get, let me, let me sign in. This is the account for my Power BI. Okay, once the password, I'm just going to get the password from my, there we go. Sign in. Ask me later, please. And um, connect. Yes, uh, so I was sort of expecting this because uh, I, I think as your portal is yet to recognize that I've added <laughs> a new person as a new user as a global administrator, that is not the same email that opened the Azure portal. So that's fine. Um, the good thing is we have three options and I can use my database, um, database credentials. So I'll come back here, come back to my Azure portal and then I can click on, um, where we start again, SQL user, that's my SQL admin username come here, paste that in. Then the password, the password is a password you entered in when you were provisioning this particular resource. And um, if you remember, I must have told you, make sure you remember this password. Now I told you to remember that this password because it would require it if you need to con connect to your SQL pool. So I'm just going to enter that password now. I remember it. So connect. Yes, 
It may take a while, but the good thing is it's connected. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm just going to pick a few tables, maybe dim customer, fact internet sales, um, what else, dim date. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to transform. Um, the best practice, of course, is to transform the data and not to just load it directly. And um, yeah, I already have the view. I want to see the column quality because this is not a data transformation video. Um, I wouldn't be doing. I wouldn't be doing more. I won't be doing um, a lot of transformation. I'm just going to make sure that my dates are, my dates are dating basically. Okay, this says no. I don't. I want that in all number. I don't want that in decimal. You don't have dates in decimal, do you? Um, <clears throat> So this is a this is date, and then I have my date key to be able to connect to every other thing that I need. So I come to my fact internet of sales. Um, yeah, I may have some empty tables, but that's fine because it's not a data transformation video. Um, you can take this once off if you want. I come to my dim customer, and um, yeah, also I have some. You can remove the columns if you want, but that is not the focus of the video. So I'm just going to load this, and. Um, Close and apply. Not like I've made a lot of changes, but hey, uh, it's the best practice. We're talking best practice here. So um, the next thing would be for us to wait for it to load, obviously. Oh, see that it's loading from my signups. Right. And what I will do is look at the model view um, to see how it's connected. Let me reduce this. Um, let me take this off. So um, yeah, let me make this bigger so you can see it. Here we go. Fact internet sales. Uh, oh, you need to connect to the right. So I have, I'll just connect it to the order date key. So date key to order date key. Fabulous. Right. So we can come here and I can um, visualize, start visualizing what we want to do. Uh, I'll pick a clustered column bar chart. I know it's, I'm always quick to pick this. And uh, for my fact internet sales, I'll pick up sales amount, put it on a Y axis, slice that by a date. Um, and that can be. Yeah, I think I'll go for the full date alternate because there's an um, alternative because it's got a date hierarchy. I like that, uh, put that date hierarchy in, um, yeah. And um, that means that it enables people to drill down if you want to, to drill down the information, but I'm just gonna take some things off, um, make it look um, nicer. Oh, I, I, I took off the quarter, I'll restore it. Um, Full date key, please. Show all levels actually. Data hierarchy. I want the data hierarchy back. So I want to take off the quarter and I want to take off the day. So here we are. Um, it's not arranged, and that's because uh, we need to sort it. We need to sort it, and um, we won't be doing that in this video because you can actually. Um, because it's an imported data, you can add new columns, you can create measures if you want. It's imported, it's not direct query. So you're not limited, you can do whatever you want. And um, I can add a slicer to this. Copy, control for me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fond of doing this. I just, uh, if, if I don't want to stress myself picking the same data or I just do this. <laughs> yeah, so. I have the year, I can do that, I can do that. Yeah, I can clear that, move that up. And then I can also do this. I can have a line, um, I, love, I love the line chart because it's one of the very few ones that you can have. Okay, then I want to, you can have, um, you can predict show all levels. That's good for prediction. And I can come here and um, turn on my forecast, basically. Forecast, um, see, just play with it a bit. Change this to 30, apply. Yeah, looking good. Then I can, um, let me just add the background. So then 
it's it has some life to it change this yeah yes 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 well this may not be the best looking um graph but um it does drive on the point and this is it and we can publish this to service let's just say we've done something really nice with it for now so i, I can decide to check um what predictions are for that's it that's it so yeah, so our graph is all good there. There is no data for 2023 yet, so that's fine. And we can publish this to service. Yes, I want to save the changes. I know I haven't done anything about this. Um, let me see. SQL pool data save. And um, yeah, then I want to, oh, sign up training. I'll have it there. Select that. So it's actually publishing to my um, workspace. Got it. So yeah, this is how you um, connect to Azure portal to um, visualize data or to work with data on import mode. You can also do that on direct query. It's just that you'll be limited with um, the um, you'll be limited with a lot of features, but this is how you connect uh, on import mode to um, work with your data and uh, manipulate it however you want. So um, in the next video, I'll be showing us how to do some incremental refresh on this. So stay tuned. And um, if you have any comments or any questions, uh, drop them down for me in the comments section and um, see you in the next video. Um, please do like, share, subscribe. Thank you.